Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May. This is my second uh, reading I've done for May for Capricorn. I'll put the other one at the end of this video. You know, at the very end, you'll see a little pop-up with the uh, video. Uh, yeah, so this is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I just want to let you guys know, if you're new, that I don't go by any books. I'm an intuitive reader. The books are not my friend. So let's get started. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Capricorn in the month of May? Regeneration. Regeneration. It's a 10. If 4 plus 6 equals 10, which is a completion. Uh, so a phase of your life is completing. Something is ending. Regeneration is is if you think about skin regenerating, right? New skin, developing new skin, new cells. Uh, maybe it's a new cellular level. Maybe you're ascending. Um, growth. You're going through a period of growth. You're starting over after a significant transformation. Okay, so this is starting to live again, starting to be, um, and maybe you're, you're coming back as something different. You know, regeneration. If you think about regeneration, you could think about reincarnation. Same kind of thing. Different. Yes, I know. But this is um, a new you, perhaps. Coming out a little bit differently than you were before. Becoming uh, new. This is taking on. I mean, if you think about it, think about it as a, sh a snake sheds its skin. As it's shedding, it's regenerating, right? Or it's already regenerated. So it looks as though you guys are taking on, you may be taking on a new appearance, right? Looking a little bit shinier, looking a little bit brighter, um, feeling better. So May is going to be a time of regeneration for you. It's shedding the old skin and developing the new. Showing the world the new you. You know, regeneration can also be, you know, when I re regenerate, if you think about it, take, a, take, a, take off the RE, generation. You know, you're growing. It's about growth. It's about growth. It, and it could also be, you know, having babies and um, passing on your genes to your children and, um, you know, living on through another human being. Okay. What do we have for Capricorn? This is a new life, put it that way. It's a new you. Eight. This is the strength card. Uh, overcoming an obstacle. Building a new foundation. Building yourself up. You are definitely going to be building yourself up. It's not easy. Now, the first card there, I think, is the Eight of, well, let me just see. It's like the Eight of Hearts, which would be the Eight of Cups. Right, so that's leaving something behind, right underneath her. But she's overcome it. So you may have had to leave somebody behind, but overcoming this obstacle, finding the strength to persevere, to get to the top. So yes, you're going to the top. And that's perfect for you, Capricorn. But it sure isn't easy. It's not easy. You have to be strong. You have to keep going. You can't give up. There's setbacks. Things fall apart. you got to pick yourself back up over and over and over again. What's this, like, been a messy Jenga game? You know, it's not Jenga, but, what, you know, 
but close where things fall down you got to start over fall down start over fall down start over you're gonna be on top this is going to be a month where you overcome an obstacle and you find your that you've done it you did it you did it you learned the skills you figured it out congratulations Now, I haven't read this book or this book. Okay, I haven't read either of these books. I don't go by the book. So, we're just going to get one more card. But I can see, and, I, and it's funny that I keep mentioning I'm not going by the book. This is going by what you know, what you've learned. Life experience. Anyhow, um, you're gaining life experience through struggle for, from having to start over and pick it up and start over and pick it up and start. You've gained a lot of experience and you're going to be able to pass that experience on to your children. One more card for Capricorn, please. This is the King of Pentacles. It, these cards are, they have feminine pictures, but this is the king of pentacles. This is you, male or female. We all have masculine and feminine energies in us. So this is the king of pentacles. Um, very comfortable having a plenty. You will be having plenty. You will be enjoying yourself. This is like a celebration. Something to be proud of. I feel like you have earned something. You have earned yourself a reward or a treat for the hard work that you have put in. I think that you've earned something. You've worked really, really hard and you deserve something. Okay? You deserve whatever you get. You've worked hard. You've overcome some sort of hardship. Now, I mean, when you get the king of pentacles, this is, this is stability, security able to relax for a minute you've worked hard I think you're going to be able to relax a little bit this month you're going to have plenty put it that way there's nothing to worry about you're going to have plenty you're solid as a rock what do we have Capricorn. Ooh, seven of pentacles. Some of you may be moving. Okay. Uh, relocation. Wherever you're at, that season is up. That time is up. It's time to go someplace else. Seven of pentacles. That's thinking about going someplace else. You've probably been planning it. You probably know that the time is up, right? Time's up. And now if it's not you, it could be somebody that you're dealing with. So these readings can always be about somebody that is living with you or somebody that you've been dealing with or something like that. Somebody that you are, uh, affects your life in a big way. Somebody is thinking about going someplace else. They're thinking about moving. They're probably going to do that because this is over. This is a, this is, it's over. There's no more growth here. Judgment reverse. Now, there could be a judgment that goes against you or another person. This is uh, legal issues not going in somebody's favor. So, I'm not sure if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. There, this, this could be, you know, being found guilty of something, whether it's you or another person. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. It could be a Leo. It could be in a uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but this is uh, something coming back around as well. Something coming to fruition that goes all the way back to seven years. I don't know what it is. Could be. Not every part of a reading is for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. But this is... 
somebody has probably made a poor judgment call. They may have done something um, that wasn't. They didn't. They made a bad choice. Somebody made a bad choice, and now they have to move on from that bad choice. They have to learn from it. This was a poor judgment call. Somebody made a poor judgment call. They may be ashamed. They may feel guilty. They may be being found guilty. This is not listening. Somebody that doesn't listen, doesn't answer the higher call, doesn't listen to any advice, is under is going to be subject to trial or they, you know, uh, are going to be questioned and they need some advice. There's this lack of forgiveness here. This is bad karma. Somebody may be experiencing some karma, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. This is bad karma for, uh, I don't know, making a poor judgment call, doing something that wasn't practical. Two of Cups. Two of Cups is a partnership. It's a union. Coming together. It's a, I mean, if you take a look at this, this is a um, perfect union, right? A happy couple. There's mutual, there's a mutual understanding here. There's, this is an easy connection. So there is an easy connection here with somebody. But there's a poor judgment call here. This is this is like somebody may want another chance. This is maybe somebody that you invested in in the past and it didn't grow, and you need to be careful, okay? Because this is this is this is like uh, this could be somebody wanting a reconciliation or wanting another chance. You've you've done all that you can do. You've done all that you can do. There's no growth here. There's nothing left. It's a dead end. Okay, so I'm not sure if somebody's going to come up, come in and ask you for another chance. Maybe you're in another union now, or you're in a partnership, or you need to protect yourself. You do. You do need to protect yourself. You could be dealing with somebody who doesn't like to lose, and they have a chip on their shoulder, and they have a point to prove, and they want to get the last word in. So be careful with whoever you're dealing with. I just needed to throw that out there. Um, this is strength, perseverance. You've come a long way. You've weathered some sort of storm. You have you have weathered some sort of storm in, in regards to a partnership. I feel like it's over. It's done. It's time to go someplace else. It's time to move on from that bad choice. You probably have another opportunity here. But there's a level of wounds, okay? Wounds that aren't healed yet. You may be expecting trouble. You may be on the defense. You may be on the lookout. You may be um, subject to repeat the same mistakes because you haven't learned your karmic lesson. Okay, so something is going on here where you're going to need to protect yourself. It feels like somebody is going to be asking for some sort of forgiveness or asking for another chance. And you're going to need to really think about this because it feels like you have a couple of different options here. You want to be practical. You want to be right, wise. You don't want to get yourself into a situation that is dead. Okay, I just really need to let you know about this. Okay, it feels like you need to you need to protect yourself. Be on guard, be on guard. Okay, be practical, be wise here. Don't repeat the same mistakes over and over and over again. You've already come so far. You've re you've already learned. Do you want to undo what you have done? That's just a message somebody needs to hear. Anyhow, um, something is coming back around. Something is coming back around. It's something that you dealt with before. Maybe seven years ago. Something about seven years ago. Maybe this started seven years ago. But there's a lot. Somebody's not going to be telling the truth. Okay? They won't be. When they come in, they won't be telling the truth. Oh! Ah. Uh, Okay, so you could be dealing with a Leo. Uh, this person is, they may not be very healthy. 
This person enjoys the control. It doesn't have to be a Leo. It could be a Scorpio. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be anybody. This person enjoys the control they have over you. They love it. And the, is this is like a narcissist kind of energy. When somebody loses their control, what do they do? They come back in. They come back in to, to grab onto it. It's like a vampire kind of thing. Okay? So this right here is somebody that enjoys the control. They are uh, feeling inadequate. They've lost their power. And they want it back. Okay, they want it back. They lack respect for others and they're very, very controlling. So I feel like you have somebody here that you have dealt with in the past that wants to remain in control and they're going to come back and want to try again. They're going to want to try again. They're going to want you to invest. They're going to want you to do this. They're and they're going to be very powerful about it. Okay, they're, it, they are. They're going to they're gonna say whatever they have to say to get you to invest in them. You definitely could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Cancer. Now, somebody's moving. Somebody is definitely moving this month. And maybe it's this other person. You know, maybe there's a lack of forgiveness. There's a lack of reconciliation. We're not going to reconcile. I'm not giving you another chance. I'm moving. Because these are both moving. Somebody's moving. Somebody's moving somewhere. They're moving someplace where, you know, there will be growth. Where there will be happiness. Um, they see a big, bright opportunity. So somebody is definitely moving. They could be moving to a warmer spot where there's more warmth. There's more sunlight. Um... They can heal. So they can heal. Somebody's moving. Somebody is moving. Definitely. Somebody in your circle is absolutely moving. Freedom. I mean, this is a card of freedom. For some of you, there's a child as well. It's like regeneration. Somebody can maybe getting pregnant. Okay. Or they're delivering a baby or something like that. There's a, there's growth of a, of a child or something like that. So, um, somebody may be pregnant. You maybe hear news of somebody's pregnant or they're delivering, they're having a baby or something like that. Um, but this is moving, moving to, into a really happy spot, into a happy place where there's a lot of happiness, moving towards happiness. This is a life get it giving energy and we have regeneration here. So you're starting a new life. This is a transformation and we have regeneration. So I feel like Capricorn, you are, you're moving into a, a more happier space. You're moving into a new life where there's happiness, there's children, there's, 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 um, positive energy, but you're going to have to protect yourself from somebody. I believe that wants to, uh, mess it up for you. I feel that's the case. You got somebody here that wants to mess it up. This person doesn't want to lose the control they have over you. Okay? They don't. They don't. They don't want you to be happy. So I think that you need to be careful. I think that you need to be careful. You you have somebody that you need to defend yourself. You need to protect yourself. You need to put your guard up and expect that this person hasn't changed. This person hasn't changed. And I think that you have an opportunity for, you know, to have a partnership with somebody that you are in alignment with. Um, you definitely need to protect yourself. That is protect yourself. You're going to be facing a challenge. And you're going to be caught off guard by somebody. Do not let this person take you backwards. You have come so far. I think you're dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I think that you are strong. You are very capable of success. You don't need anybody. You don't even need this person. You don't. I think that you have gained a lot of inner strength, a lot of self-worth. You have picked yourself up from rock bottom. Do not look back. You are quite capable capable of moving forward and taking care of yourself.
somebody is is turning their back on a connection out of <laughs> self-worth, self-esteem. Self-value. We got we got one person here that does not have good intentions at all. Not even a tiny bit. Can talk the talk though with the best of them. I mean, this guy or woman or whoever it is is a smooth talker. It's very skilled at saying all the right things that pull right at your heartstrings. So be prepared to have your heartstrings pulled by somebody that is a liar and doesn't have good intentions, that wants to keep the control that they've always had over you. They see that you are getting better. They see that you have learned. They see that you are getting stronger. They see that you have are not invested in them anymore. They see that you are moving forward. They see that you are in control of your emotions. They see that you are headed to you're in a more positive state of mind. They see that you're doing really, really good. So here they come to shake up your life. You're going to need to protect yourself from this person that you, at one time, had a very deep connection with. This person does not have good intentions. And you do need to protect yourself from going backwards. They will steal your energy. And they will de undo all the work that you have done. And like I, we started this reading out, you have had to start over many, many times. You want to do it again? You want to start at rock bottom again? Did you not learn that karmic lesson yet? This, this is bad karma. Bad. This is a karmic lesson right here. Refusing to accept. Refusing to accept that something is over. Completely unaware with the judgment reversed. Unaware of, you are totally unaware of what's coming, put it that way. You are definitely going to need to protect yourself. You're going to be facing uh, somebody that <laughs> really wants you to let them in. And they want you to let them in because they see that you are getting better. They see that you are happy and they're like, oh no, I've lost my control. So my advice is not to budge. Do not budge. Do not let this person in. Tell them, no, you are good. You are good. <laughs> One more card. May. It really is tough on top. Maybe you don't like being on top. Maybe you, because this person wants to be on top. They want to take away your reward, your victory. Don't let them. Oh, drop it. Drop it, drop it, drop it. Ten of Wands. This is a burden. This is baggage. It's not love. It's time for you to drop that baggage. Drop that dead weight. I think it's going to be a very emotional time. I think you're going to have a very hard time telling this person no. They don't love you. They just love the control they have over you. I think you are in a very happy, 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 happy spot with somebody that, you know, somebody else, okay? Somebody else. 
And that, and, unless you're single and you're doing great. We have somebody here that is single and they're doing really, really, really good. Very stable, solid, money, has money, has nothing to worry about, sitting really pretty right here. So we have this really independent person who is doing very well. And this independent person has a individual coming into their life that <sighs> talks a good talk, but sure as hell don't walk the walk. You will be walking on eggshells before you know it. But we also have um, somebody that isn't single. They're in another partnership and somebody from their past that they dealt with maybe seven years ago or whenever. Or they maybe they have a child with this person or whatnot. This person is going to make a ploy as well for that scenario. They may put on a guilt trip. This is guilt trip. So guilt trip so somebody may and it could be whoever this person is they may put on a guilt trip oh you know what about the kids you know try to use the kids you know what i mean try to put on a guilt trip make you feel guilty so be prepared to defend yourself and protect yourself from somebody that is baggage in your life do not let them guilt trip you into thinking that you are unworthy you have come so far Hold your head up high. You've shed that old skin. You're not the same person anymore. You have an opportunity for love with somebody that will respect you. But this person <laughs> is not the one that you need to defend yourself from. It's not the one that took advantage of you. It's not the one that is guilt tripping you. It's not the one that wants to control your every move. Anyhow, be prepared to defend yourself against somebody that... Uh, doesn't have good intentions. This person is secretive. They're closed off emotionally. They love to be in control. They see themselves as a victim. It's never their fault. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. They stomp away and they give the silent treatment. They ghost you. They don't talk for months. They don't answer the phone. Do not let this person weigh you down. Push them away. And move on. Good luck.